The Notre Dame connections spread far and wide throughout the world. Um, I've competed all over in so many different countries, and, and I just feel like um, not only am I out there competing for myself and for my country, but I'm also representing uh, Notre Dame, and that's a really, really um, wonderful feeling to have. And to know that there has always been the support for me from this school has made a really big difference in my career, so I've been really thankful for that. When you have all of these other things that are going on around you and trying to balance the, the responsibilities of being an athlete at the same time that you're being a student, and a high-level athlete at that, because if you're um, an athlete at Notre Dame, you're clearly one of the top um, in your sport. Um, so you know, it, I think that it says a lot about your character. I think it says a lot about um, your dedication to your goals and, and time management and responsibility. And um, I just think that it's really important to know that you have to be very clear with yourself and clear with your um, support system and your coaches in saying, what is it that I want to achieve? And that, that goes for the sports side of things as well as the academic side of things. Once you get out of, um, once you graduate and move on and, and if you want to pursue your sport further, then you already have the foundation there to know that, that you can balance very stressful situations, you can balance um, you know, difficult time management situations and you know, if you're succeeding at Notre Dame then you can go on to succeed in life whether that's on the field of play or in um, the real world. I do have to say that one of my favorite memories was like my first week on campus. Um, I had missed actually the first two weeks of class because I was still at the Olympics in Athens. Um, and then I came and, and it was just a whirlwind of moving in and getting adjusted and going to class. And then um, I went to my very first football game. I had never been to a football game before. Um, my high school never had football and stuff. So I, I knew that football was a big deal here. but didn't realize how big of a deal it was. You know, I didn't really truly understand the history. And my very first um, home football game at Notre Dame was when we upset Michigan and everybody ran on the field. And I was like, what is going on? Like, I had no idea that, like, what just happened, the significance of what just happened. I was like, is this how every game is? Like, when we win, we rush the field and everybody goes crazy. Turns out it's not like that. Um, but that was definitely one of my um, favorite memories of my very first uh, beginning time on campus. Well, it's interesting to walk through campus now because so much has changed. There's been a lot of construction, a lot of new buildings. Um, even outside of my dorm, uh, PE looks so different than it did, you know, when I was here. Um, but it's always great to come back, you know, even if it's few and far between the times um, to, to go to a game or to, to see old friends or people who um, have been working here for a long time who I was, um, who I knew when I was a student athlete. Um, and just that, that's the thing about this community is that it's, it's very tight knit, it's very close. And um, you know, all of the memories just are all together just really positive. So I started fencing um, when I was 10 years old, and very shortly after that, I came home one day and said to my parents that I wanted to be an Olympic champion. And I know that sounds like very lofty goals for a 10-year-old um, girl who just found this really random and unique sport, but um, the Olympics were always something that were very, very special to me because my parents were Olympians in the 1976 Games in Montreal. They were um, rowers on Team USA. So growing up, I knew that the Olympics was something special. I knew that being an Olympian was something that I wanted to be, and it wasn't this unobtainable goal because my parents had done it. So, you know, if my parents had done it, I knew I wanted to do it. I wanted to be like them. I really looked up to my parents growing up and um, they really believed in that, in that dream. And so I think that they took my declaration very seriously and supported um, my, my journey um, ever since I was a young girl. And there was, um, of, of course, obstacles along the way and setbacks and stuff, but all throughout my career, it never dawned on me that I, I wouldn't be able to do something or I shouldn't do it or I can't do it. I've always had this really strong support system that's been um, an integral part to my success because I had a dream when I was 10 years old. My parents believed in that dream. We worked together on that um, path to get me there and, and I never believed that I couldn't do it. And, and sure enough, you know, I have four Olympic medals now and been to four Olympics and, and of course that is something looking back, it's like, wow, that's very unbelievable. But at the same time, I always believed in my goals and believed in myself. And, and that's what I dedicate my life to. And, you know, it just kind of shows that when you, when you really dedicate yourself and really work hard towards, towards something, you can get there.